In this video, I will tell you about my trip to Kachanaburi in detail. I will show you how much money I spent for two days, buses and train schedule and the way I go. Maybe it would be helpful for somebody who decide to go alone. My trip started from Bangkok city. First train departure at 7.50 am from Thonburi station. Ticket cost 100 baht. The train was without condition, but there were open windows and doors, so it wasn't hot inside. View from the window was nice, we were passing by beautiful mountain, river and fields. After about 4 hours we got to destination. It's the most beautiful viewpoint along traveling by train. I was heading to Grassy Cave on the rails on foot from the station. It was very close. Inside this small cave I was coming across the majestic bronze Buddha statue. This cave was a camp of prisoners and forced laborers during the World War II railway construction. Walking to the front of the cave, you will see a scenic landscape of River Kwai. It's the perfect place to get a shot for your social media. After shooting and walking on the railways, I went toward the station, passed by small shops and found one buffet restaurant. There are no many choices, but it's enough to eat your fill. The price is 200 baht. This restaurant offers a beautiful view of Kwai River. Now I'm going back to Kachanaburi city to find some budget hotel. Train arrives at 1.36 pm to Sapan Tam Krasi station. The next would be about 4 pm. Price of ticket was the same as I bought from Bangkok. Maybe because I got it from woman that was working at restaurant and not on the station. My destination. This is my budget floating guest house. It costs 1300 baht for two nights. Let's go inside. I took this video after resting on the bed, so it's a bit rumbled. I came to Kachanaburi at about 2.30 pm, so I had time to go somewhere else, like Mina Cave or Tiger Cave Temple. But I was a bit tired, so I decided to take a rest at room and enjoy the view. Meal and breakfast cost 300 and 100 baht. The restaurant is located near guest house. Now I'm going to Erevan waterfall. 
People say it's the most beautiful waterfall in Thailand, so let's see. Stop this video and make a screenshot or photo of the bus schedule. The ticket for this bus cost 60 baht. It took around one and a half hour to get to Erevan waterfall by bus. It's a bit cramped in this bus. It definitely is not intended for the carriage of European people. After arriving at the entrance of Erevan Falls, either by scooter or bus, you will have to buy entrance ticket to get in. It costs 300 baht. In the park you can reach waterfall with the public bus, but it's not far, so I went on foot and enjoyed the nature. Erevan Waterfalls has 7 different levels, which you can visit one by one. The park is open daily from 8 am until around 4.30 pm, all year round, even on the public holidays. It's the longest path of ants I've ever seen. If you want to swim, you should to take jacket, it costs 20 baht for 2 hours, but actually nobody cares about time. I used it around 4 hours and nobody asked me to pay more. Food isn't a loft beyond the first level, so it's a good place for lunch. You will need to pay a small deposit to the park ranger for your plastic water bottle when continuing to level 2. It's a system designed to reduce the amount of trash which people left in the park. The second waterfall is the most crowded. The higher you go, the fewer people will be around. Actually, it's not allowed here to swim without jacket. I just swam a little to take a beautiful photo. The hike to the top of the waterfall is quite easy. It takes me around 2 hours to go up, shooting and taking photos. Here you can get beautiful tan and best natural peeling. The elders are waiting for me to fully enter the water. I suppose it's even more beautiful here in the rainy season. The higher you go, the more interesting path.
as you can see on the video, nobody care about jacket on top level of waterfall, so it's a good opportunity to take picture.